Jesse on Disney Channel was one of these TV shows that we all loved and that our parents hated. That's because there were a lot of jokes that only our mother and father really understood, and they thought that it was really inappropriate. Just wait until you hear what kids were watching in health class. We can't believe that a Disney Channel show got away with that. If you love Jesse as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're showing you 10 inappropriate jokes in Jesse. The Moon. When watching this video, you'll notice that most of the inappropriate jokes come from the king of comedy himself, Luke Ross. When Zuri decided to hire Jessie as her new nanny, she quickly discovered that she had three other crazy siblings. Emma asked her brother to give her back her moon, and he didn't want to let her have it. Emma insisted by saying that she needed it for her solar system, and this was when the young boy told her that he was going to show her the moon. Then he tried to pull down his pants before his sister pushed him on the couch. If you know what a moon is, you know which body part Luke wanted to show his sister, and that's something that neither his family and the viewers want to see. This young kid looked like a real troublemaker until he realized that his new nanny was actually really cute. He tried to impress her, and that's when Jesse replied that she was way too old for him. Then a lot of awkward jokes about his interest in her followed. He even said that their date was a waste of clean underwear, as if she was supposed to see it after dinner. Or maybe because they're not clean anymore? Luke might want to give her the moon to show how much he wants to be with her. But once again, we don't think that this is what a lady really wants the date. Just when you thought that Jesse had the control of the situation, things got worse. And yes, we're still talking about the first episode. When Luke first saw Jesse, it was love at first sight. Or should we say, a forbidden love, as he likes to call it. That didn't keep him from inviting her on a date. He put on his best-looking suit and brought her flowers. But as we expected, it wasn't enough to seduce her. At least there is one lucky guy who got the chance to be invited to go on a date with Jesse. Or should we say, one lucky thing? Emma's parents couldn't make it to see her science project because they were working on a movie. This is why the the new nanny decided to go on set to make them change their minds. A guy wouldn't let her go near them, so she put on a costume and pretended to be an extra. This was when she started being attacked by a huge tentacle. It pulled her up in the air, and the poor young woman started screaming. That didn't keep her from being funny, as she asked it to at least buy her dinner first. Is that really what you get for offering food to Jesse? It seems like Luke knows about that. At the end of the episode, he said that after dinner they could... And Jesse stopped him before his hand touched her bottom. Forget it, Freckles. The Photographer and here's another inappropriate joke Luke is responsible for. We all know that this young boy is madly in love with Jesse, and that doesn't keep him from misbehaving, because that's the reason why she gives him a lot of attention. In this episode, the talented Mr. Kipling, Luke was really happy to have the opportunity to take pictures of beautiful girls for his photography class. And as we could imagine, he wanted his crush Jesse to be his muse. And Jesse wasn't ready for this at all. This is why she asked Luke if he had an off switch, and he answered by asking her if she wanted to find it. We all know what it means. The switch on this young teenager's body is already on, and the fastest way to turn it off is by touching it until he doesn't have any energy left. And this is something no one wants to think about. So we're really happy that Jesse immediately said no. We really don't know what to do with these kids and those hormones. But we have to admit that we have a dirty mind too. If you want to see another lucky photographer, just wait until you watch the following episode. Ravi used a telescope to look at a photographer taking pictures of girls wearing nothing but triangles. And we know why Luke was so interested. Unfortunately, that wasn't the kind of breasts he was thinking about. Put on a shirt, Bertram. Where Luke comes from. Since the first episodes, we've been wondering how two white parents could have four children of different origins. The answer was really simple. Emma was the only biological child, and the three others were adopted. Also, working in the film industry, the two parents were like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. But we have always been wondering where Luke, Zuri, and Ravi came from. Ravi is originally from India, and Zuri was adopted from Uganda, Africa. But we'll let Luke explain where he is from. In this episode, Jesse decided to go to the park alone with the three other kids. They quickly found something else to do when she started playing music music, and when Luke came back, she asked him where he was from. He said that his parents said the stork brought him, but the 7th graders had a more interesting theory. Then, Jesse asked him not to talk to 7th graders. If you ever had the talk with your parents, you know what they're talking about. But this episode wasn't really about where Luke came from. It was about where he was going. When a man saw their performance in the park and offered them to make a music video, Jesse and Luke thought that they had the chance to become stars. But little did they know, this guy was only a scam artist. That's at least one good life lesson that we learned from that episode. The Touch. 
In this sitcom, we hear a lot of inappropriate jokes when it comes to touching. The first one was from the third episode of the first season, Used Karma. This time, Emma discovered that Tony had a crush on Jesse by reading a magazine. She talked about the different body parts where he could touch her and what it would mean about their relationship. And Jesse answered that all she cares about is that he doesn't touch her end zone. And all the grown-ups know what she was talking about. Now that would certainly mean that he wants to be more than friends. After their date, she even accused him of trying to get this all day long, until she realized that he just wanted to be a good friend. Then, in the 17th episode, Bad Fellas, a not-so-nice guy asked Jessie if she could pat him down, as it would be the highlight of her week. But the most inappropriate joke actually came from Zuri in Tempest in a Teacup. When Tony said that he was going to have fun with Jesse, Zuri told him to keep his hands for himself. She made sure that they were north to the equator, but not that far north, mister. We don't know what Jesse would be doing without her. The Romance Everything just got inappropriate in this episode. Four of the main characters are kids, and Jesse is their nanny, so you wouldn't expect them to do too many things your parents wouldn't like you to watch. But when two adults got together on a date, things got a little out of hand. In this episode, Jesse lost an expensive tiara, and it was found by Mrs. Chesterfield. This is why Bertram had to invite her on a date, so Jesse would keep her job. The butler wasn't comfortable, but he certainly played the game. Trying to distract this strange lady, he said that she brought out the animal in him, dancing passionately with her. Then, he said that they could couldn't leave the kitchen because his garlic bread was burning, and Mrs. Chesterfield pressed her buns against his lap, saying that she knows exactly how it feels. Even if it looked like things were getting hot in here, the woman was probably disappointed to see that she couldn't feel the bread in his pants. They were almost done with dinner, and Zuri said that she knew what Mrs. Chesterfield wanted for dessert, Bertram a la mode, and grown-ups all know what it means to eat a man on a date. If you want to see more inappropriate jokes, you have to watch Romancing the Crone. We're just happy that our parents weren't there when we saw it on TV. The Dress we all know that Debbie Ryan is a really beautiful young woman. It was no surprise that a boy like Luke would fall in love with her. The nanny is usually wearing something appropriate, but we first saw one outfit that our parents wouldn't like us to wear in One Day Wonders. While being the victim of a scam artist who offered to film a music video for $1,200, she was wearing something a little too mature for Disney Channel, a red short dress. She even said that she was wearing a dress that in her hometown would get her arrested. And all the grown-ups knew what she would look like if she walked down the street in that outfit. But we think that women shouldn't be ashamed of wearing whatever they want. Men are the ones who should look at them in a different way, mostly when they are six years younger than their nanny. In 101 Lizards, the boy made one more awkward comment when they were in a zoo. Jessie said that she felt like she was being watched, and Luke told her that she should expect that when she was wearing that dress. And she said that she didn't mean that she was watched by him. We think that women should have the chance to wear whatever makes them feel good in their own skin. The only things that should stop are the comments that are making them feel uncomfortable. The video. We all know that Luke is just obsessed with Jessie and that he loves watching this beautiful young woman. He made that clear in season one in Glue Done It, a sticky situation. When the kids found out that Jessie was guilty of a crime, Luke suggested that they should be using a nanny cam to keep an eye on her, and he asked to be the one monitoring all the footage. This kid was really excited, so we bet that he was talking about things only adults should see, and he made his dream come true in the second season in Jessie's Big Break. Jessie got a role as a stunt performer in a movie, and Luke decided that he was going to be filming her too, and he admitted that this time he was was not doing it in a creepy, without their knowledge kind of way. So what has he been doing before? Was he filming her in her sleep, when she was taking a shower, or just at any time of the day around the house? Jesse noticed that he was drooling just by looking at them, so we bet that he was secretly filming something guys are really interested in. And the other actress even had to ask him to film their faces instead. We think it means that Luke was filming their breasts. Keep dreaming, young man. You might have the chance to look, but you'll never have the chance to touch. The bottom. When they want to refer to the bottom, Disney characters can't use a word that starts with the letter A. But that doesn't keep them from using other words that sound just like it so everyone can understand what they mean. For example, in the first episode of the first season, Emma was disappointed that her parents couldn't make it to the science fair. Jessie convinced her that the distance will never keep them from loving each other, and then encouraged the young girl to kick some asteroids. She might sound like she was referring to something that we can only find in space, but we know that she was talking about something we all have on Earth. Then, in in the second episode, we heard Robbie talk about some pain in the ashram. We all know what it meant, but if you don't believe that they're always almost using bad words, just wait until you see episode 13 of season 2, To Be Me or Not To Be Me. This time, Zuri was in Jesse's body and said that the director would look ridiculous with her foot up his... And this was when she stopped talking. But we all know the three-letter word that she was going to say. They might never say the word, but it makes us think about it every time. So we would say that this is an inappropriate joke. The Smile 
When it comes to health class, we know that kids love to make fun of this topic, and Luke Ross is not an exception. We first heard one of these jokes in Season 1, Episode 26, The Secret of Mr. Kipling. When they found out that the lizard was actually a girl and that she was having babies, Luke said that, unless he totally misunderstood health class, there has to be a dude lizard involved. We hope that parents won't have to have the talk with their kids because of that. Then, we got another health class joke in Season 2, in Diary of a Mad Newswoman, and it was more inappropriate than everything we have ever heard before. This time, Emma revealed to the school that their hamburgers were actually made of horse meat. And this is why everyone started applauding her in the hallway. Then Luke said that he hasn't seen that many smiles since that health class video mix-up. As our teachers are supposed to tell us what couples do in bed at night, we were afraid that they actually showed them a video of what it's like to make babies. And this is not something that anyone under 18 years old should see. We can't believe that a boy made that joke on Disney Channel. Are there any other inappropriate jokes that we missed? Don't be shy to tell us what it is in the comment section down below. We love to know what you think. And that's it for 10 Inappropriate Jokes in Jesse. For more stories like this, make sure you watch 10 Inappropriate Jokes in Good Luck Charlie. Thanks for watching.